first memory I have of uh, Surfit Wind Farm is when we actually went to the site. So going in by the boat and to this remote location on a sunny day with the crystal clear water and the views and the scenics was really something out of the ordinary. My name is Marcus Rehnqvist. I work as a senior product manager in Fortum. My role in the Surfield project was to be part of the construction product team. We decided to invest in Surfield product in 2016. And this is of course then to enable more green energy production to the society and also meet the demand of increasing power need in the future. It was a remote site where small problems became very big. And also it is limited in storage in the harbor and up on the mountain plateau. The site is located in the north of Norway. So in summer you have a lot of daylight, but in the winter you have more or less none. I thought that this will be a really great challenge. In the beginning, it was not so certain that it was possible. But after discussion with the team and also with the contractors, we were sure that the, the construction of the wind farm was possible. The main challenge with this project would be to get up this serpentine road. So going from, from the sea level up to the 600 meters above sea height. In a normal project, you build small roads that is quite flat. But in this project, we needed to build roads that is up to 20% of uh, inclination. It's hard to construct roads like that, but also uh, it's even harder to transport components up these roads. So here we needed to have special transport solutions. We had a lot of difficult weather. It's a lot of shifting in the weather. So sunshine in the one moment and all of a sudden you have rain and even snowfall at the, in the other moment. And then there was a pandemic as well. So many times it felt like the obstacles were too many. When we started to draw up the product plan, we realized that we would need to have a lot of help from local contractors and also the dedicated product team. Many unique solutions were needed to be found in order to overcome all the challenges that the product was facing at the time. So the first thing that the product needed to construct was then the serpentine road. This to enable transportation of components up to the mountain plateau. The next season, the construction of the wind farm itself up on the mountain plateau started. So there we built the roads and hard stands and foundations. And after that, the turbine installation was able to begin. This tower section has been specifically made for, for this site to enable the transport up this road. Also, the blade was not able to be transported on, on normal equipment, so you need to take blade by blade, one by one, then with a blade lifter and transport up to the mountain plateau. The strong commitment from, from the product team and then also the stubbornness from all of us made us to go through this. Today it feels like we have a really good wind farm and also the feeling is positive. I'm so proud to be part of, of the Surfjord construction team that we overcome all issues and all the obstacles on the way to a successful wind farm and also see all the production that is now being generated to the society.